Hoida! Good day, fellow South Africans and citizens of the world! And yes, I have a funny mask on, but because according to Ronaldo Host, I'm dead. I've passed away. Well, you know, I'm going to show you exactly what took place, what transpired in the last couple of days on his uh, YouTube channel, where in the past he has questioned my integrity and covering fake news. Well, I, I'm obviously a ghost, okay? It can't be Scott Bolson, can it? Because I'm dead. Well, Ronaldo Ghosts, well, let's start off with your clip, which I will link below, which shows how you used devious means, including falsifying an email, to try and create a trap for me. This is the integrity of Ronaldo Ghosts. Okay, this guy is devious. I'll show you more videos in a second which will confirm what I'm saying. But let's just start with that. Hey, what's up guys? It's Ronaldo here. So this is going to be an experiment and this experiment is to see how easy it is to appear on Loving Life's YouTube channel for fake news caused by him. All right. So the time currently is 37 minutes past 11 and it's Friday the 30th of August. Now, the reason I've shown you that date is so that you know that this isn't something I did after the fact, but rather because of me that this has happened. So what I want to do is um, I want to showcase how easy it is to create fake news and then to see whether somebody actually bites or not, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Man's Not Barry, more Man's Not Barry Roo. Um, as we all know, he's a public protector, is a block Twitter, CIC, ANC, like he's a mouthpiece for the EFF and the BLF pretty much. So I see here, here's a nice little gap where something can be changed. So let me just inspect this. And then what I can do is let me find something nice to say. All right, so let me just check here. Yeah, here we go. Let me find it. Here we go. Let's put in this white Australian food known as Loving Life on YouTube. Must calm down. We know where he lives in Australia. We don't let oceans limit our reach. Food sack with your racial insults. Great. Now let's see if it has changed there. Yep. This white Australian boot known as Loving Life. So here it has changed. Okay. So it, that's literally how easy it is to change things. You can add more likes more retweets more comments that you can make it seem the way that you want it to seem and as you can see by me merely just changing some stuff i have not changed it very easy anybody that's got access to chrome can do that and now when you look at it you can clearly see when you scroll down there's a tweet and it says this white australian boot known as loving life on youtube must calm down we know where, you, where he lives in Australia. We don't let oceans limit our reach. Foot sack with your racial insults. All right. So that will now be made into a video to showcase it to him as well as a screenshot taken of it. And we all know that it doesn't exist. So if he goes to search for it and do research, he won't find it, which means surely then he can't report on it as there's no evidence. Secondly, uh, this will be emailed to him a screenshot and the video that I record to show up and down but to exclude all my names so that he doesn't see that it's me that's behind this the okay so please watch to the end because it gets really exciting at the end where you get to understand who Ronaldo Chaus really is 
But in the meantime, let me just say to people watching this video, yes, I'm nearly blind. I, I actually can't see what's happening around here. I know I'm looking at the camera and I've got someone helping me put this video together for me, which I used to do six months ago. But, and you'll notice also that I'm wearing gloves, and the reason I'm wearing gloves is because I have a skin condition which is really, really, um, it's, 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 the, the last three months have been torture. And if you go back and look at the discussion between Ronaldo Jose and Chris Wyatt, when I first went off Loving Life TV and stopped doing the regular videos that I did, they were celebrating the fact and they were saying, well, this is Chris Wyatt and Ronaldo Jose to me. Basically, fuck you, we don't care about you, you're an asshole, good riddance to bad rubbish. That's what they were saying. Now, what happened in the last couple of days? is that the rumor was put out there on the internet that I had passed away. Okay? I'm dead. That's why I wore this mask, because supposedly I'm dead. Okay? But just to confirm that I'm not dead, let me just say that I listened to the incredible success that Donald Trump had in winning presidential election on Tuesday this week. Well, it's, yeah, it's about five days ago now. And Kamala Harris, well, she's a fucking idiot, quite honestly, and excuse my language, but, you know, I'm just over all this shit. Uh, I'm amazed that people are still paying e-beggars. Yes, yes, Chris White, you'll see that little clip in a moment where, uh, Chris Wyatt says that, uh, oh, e-beggars, and this is at the very time that apparently my death has been announced. And you'll notice also in the side chat that all these Ronaldo Jose, what do we call them? Mm, cultists. Yeah, they're part of the cult, the Ronaldo Jose cult. And I'm saying that because when Loving Life was going, Ronaldo Jose called it a cult. Well, these cultists, after my death was pronounced on his live stream, and I'll also put that link down directly below, and you'll see in the side chat how all these regulars, it's like, oh, you know, so what? It's only Scott Bolson. Uh, don't forget to get your pizza at five cents extra or cheaper here or whatever it might be. Don't forget to be an e-beggar. Da, 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 da. I'm talking about groups like Morning Shot. Um, talking about groups like, uh, of course, Chris Wyatt. And, of course, the main actor, Ronaldo Jos. Let's listen to his pronunciation that apparently, according to what was said in the side chat, I've passed away. So yeah. Anyway, just joking. Um, well done. Well done, Byron. You uh, have made it your own. And there are so many phenomenal... <laughs> there we go. Yes. You see. Morning Shot. Thank you so much for the super chat. Wow. And it's Morning Shot's very first super chat. On a live stream. Wow. Morning Shot broke their virginity on Ronaldo Jose's channel. Can you believe that? <laughs> I know that. You can see Roman's not part of that channel anymore because he would keep all the money. Thank you very much, Morning Shot. Can we get some hearts in the chat for Morning Shot? There we go. Here's a little gift for you. Let me double. Bam, let's do that. Some uh, firework display. What else do I feel like? Let's do some balloons. Why not have some balloons? Get some balloons. There we go. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Morning Shot. Be sure to go and subscribe to Morning Shot if you haven't yet for your morning dose of news analyses. Um, I have to say,
Colonel says, e beggar. Hello, I wrote the handbook. I haven't made money from it, but I wrote the handbook. Um... Charmaine says, I wear, I also want to hear sweet nothings. Ah, oh, Charmaine. Charmaine is such a giving and caring person. Charmaine hates Armin. You see, even her surname is like thankful, you know. Armin. Hayes Armin. Thank you so much. Oh, and uh, Colonel Chris White gave $2. Thanks, Chris. <coughs> Moving straight along. Jim says, I can't super chat because my account is restricted. True story. Uh, Byron said so, that you did a test account and that account got suspended within 24 hours. Hey, Jim. I don't know, dude. Like, I love you, but maybe you need to hold back just on some theories, you know? And obviously what has happened is they've picked up on your name and they automatically will ban you based on the name that you use so maybe what you should do is call it germ what is the opposite of warfare peace or peace talks call yourself germ peace talks and see what happens chris says i know i downloaded the pdf for free from loving life website by the way um breaking news in case you haven't heard um Scott Bolson, a.k.a. Loving Life, uh, according to Byron from Morning Shot, passed away. I wasn't aware of that. Um, and this is where the feud ends. As soon as somebody passes away, um, all, uh, all ill, uh, not wishes, but all ill intent or not, that's also strong. All negative emotions go out the window. Um, so rest in peace, Scott Bolson. Um, you contributed when you started your channel and when you were really interested to talk about South Africa and the problems that, that South Africans were facing. Um, and then obviously I think, uh, you lost the plot a little bit down the road and you became obsessed with other content creators. However, I still believe that your intentions when you started were true, um, and well-intentioned. So rest in peace and my thoughts go out to your family um, and the feud is done. No more negativity about loving life um, because it would just be an absolute dick move. So, so yeah. Tristan uh, Stoltz gave a 70 Rand super chat. Thank you very much, Tristan. It's greatly appreciated saying this is for morning shot. That, that's right. I mean, that's this is how it works. So you see the YouTube channels in South Africa, uh, we've got like this kitty that is shared amongst all content creators that align them with, with them align with one another. So you can give a super chat for Chris Wyatt on here or for morning shot. I know that morning shot isn't live um, a lot. So if you have had super chat money that you would like to give to a morning shot or to Chris White, you can do it here and I will make sure that they get nothing of it. Because I'm the unemployed one here, right? I don't have the luxury of being retired like Chris Wyatt or having a successful business and YouTube channel like uh, Byron or you know, having international viewers that contribute uh, to, uh, you know. Okay, now, in the link below, you'll see that Ronaldo Jose, when he's attacking me and saying that I've, I'm putting out fake news, he says, this guy didn't even bother to go and check his sources. Well, some idiot says, I've passed away, and bang, bang, bang. Renal Achos accepts that news and says, well, you know, I'm not going to attack this arsehole anymore because he's dead and I don't do that sort of shit. That's the sympathy. That's it. That's that's the kind of closing statement of loving life, according to Renal Achos. Well, anybody who is a member of Renal Achos's little cult group, you are really in a very sad space because this guy is an e-beggar that's what he is I've been 
listening to the videos in the last few weeks after he was turfed out of the DA. Good move, John Steenhuisen, even though I don't think you're a good man. Good move, get rid of the trash. And he did. He got rid of Ronaldo Cos. But of course, the clinger honours, you know, the Colonel Chris Wyatt's and uh, there are a couple of other people thought, ah, this is all okay, we'll just stick with this guy. And, of course, now they're trying to turn Ronaldo Jose's uh, YouTube channel into his main money-raising situation. E-beggars. You just, you just watch any one of Jose's videos and watch what an e-beggar does online. And you have a classic example. Ronaldo Jose, well, I'm going to show you the videos now. In fact, I'm going to show you just one. Where Ronaldo Jose, in his earlier days, now look, a leopard doesn't change its spots. Okay, so this is the same man who's talking to you right now. Even though he suggests that what he said when he was using the K word and the N word, which got him pissed off by the DA, um, really didn't matter. Oh, and, and I should just say that there's my Trump hat, okay? Well done, Trump. I'm looking forward to next year when you become president. Uh, congratulations on beating Kamala, whatever her name is, um, in 49 of the 50 states that Biden actually had a higher percentage of, of voters in. And of course, as we know now, our friend Donald Trump also had the highest number of voters voting for him. Interesting, isn't it? When you look at ha what happened in 2020. And of course, I've always been a, a Trump supporter. So, I'm going to get rid of that. I am not dead. Yes, visually, I can't see as well as I could. When it comes to my skin, yes, I've been having horrible problems. And yet these assholes, I'm talking about Chris Wyatt, Ronaldo Jose, not so much morning shot, but when they learnt that I was unwell, this is Chris Wyatt and Ronaldo Jose, they were celebrating that fact. They were saying, yes, yes, loving life is gone. Hmm. Not nice people. And Chris Wyatt, let's remember, he is actually an undercover Central Intelligence Agency operative. That's what he is. That's who he is. And I'm hoping, I'm really hoping that Donald Trump, who's going to be cleaning out the CIA and the FBI, now that he's coming into power, will actually turf out the trash. And I'm talking about a certain Colonel Chris Wyatt. Now, here comes that video clip of Ronaldo Jos, taken in maybe 10 years ago, where you can understand the real person behind this guy who claims to be a psychologist with all these degrees, and he's absolutely a fraud, just like Kamala Harris was. Please remember to register on LovingLifeTV.com to be kept informed. Please share this video. Please like this video. And above all, do not believe the fact. According to one Renata Hoss, that I have moved on and met my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. It was during his time as a student that he discovered YouTube. More specifically, bodybuilders and fitness trainers specializing in YouTube videos in order to make money. Ronaldo's favorite was the famous American YouTuber Scott Herman. And that is where it all started. In order to boost his own YouTube channel subscribers, Ronaldo made the following video.
Do note that this has been his standard tactic to build his brand, even his political brand. In short, he pesters famous people until they give him attention. Enjoy. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Grimia. Yeah, so I decided, fuck it, I'm making hate vids again on this channel because I'm sick and tired of certain YouTubers. I obviously have a lot of steam to let off, so let's do it, alright? The first one's gonna focus on Scott Herman. He's got two channels called Scott Herman Fitness, and the other one is called um, On the Humanity, alright? Now, this individual is a self absorbed son of a bitch, alright? What he does is he basically trains people how to exercise in the gym properly. Now, explain this to me, right? 277 vids with this guy with his fucking shirt off. If you walk into any other gym in the world, people have their shirts on and they don't train with their shirts off from my understanding and to every gym I've been and I've been all over and I've never seen people train with their shirts off. It's not allowed, all right? Simple as that. But he gets it right during gym and I mean training sessions to take his shirt or his shirt off while other people are training in the background. Now please tell me that is not fucking ego driven. Firstly, all right? What I think, right, is I think he is that type of individual that when nobody's looking, looks at himself in the mirror and then, you know, gets closer and gets aroused and then move closer. And then before you know it, he's French kissing his mirror image. That is what I think Scott Herman is. Because there's no excuse for 277 videos to take your fucking shirt off and try and market yourself. Because, you know, he goes and says, I'm trying to help people. I'm trying to make people understand how to do the exercises properly. Well, fucker, go to bodybuilding.com or go to any other source that you can find on Google and they will show you how to do the exercise properly. We don't need for you to take your shirt off and parade on YouTube how to do an exercise because I'm really fucking sick and tired of seeing you, you on the front page of YouTube with your shirt off. You know, bodybuilders and people that train hard to look good you know, you give them a bad name. You give us a bad name. Because you do it for the fucking wrong reasons. You don't do it to improve yourself. You do it to fucking get with the ladies and basically, you know, promote yourself. Now, that wouldn't be wrong if you admitted to it. But unfortunately, you that fucking type of idiot that would say, no, I'm doing it for myself and I'm trying to improve myself. When in actual fact, you're just doing it to get fucking attention. That's all it is, all right? Like I said, you're that guy that fucking looks in the mirror, you know, we all know that type of guy, right? There's always one person in the gym that constantly fucking flexes and, you know, do the chest exercises and, like, looks at himself and poses. Well, that is Scott Herman, all right? Look, because, look, he always does this. Oh, look at that. You see, then you get that pump like that. By the way, my arm is fucking bigger than yours, cunt. Secondly, he always goes like this. Oh, look at that six-pack. Oh, you see that. Oh, look at that pec. Oh, 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 oh. You see that? That is Scott Herman, and that is what a fucking noise the shit out of me. Because why don't you just admit it that you're an attention whore, and then you want other people to want you. It's not about improving yourself, it's about, look at me, look at me, I've got a good body. Well, guess what, motherfucker? There is tens of thousands of other people out there with better bodies than you, and they don't need to take their shirt off to prove it. That's all I've got to say. Scott Herman, go fuck yourself. Everybody else, cheers and peace out.